Yo, what's up, what's going on? It's your boy, Kenny Man. Today, we got roster update predictions for July 13th. I am the most in-depth channel on YouTube for roster update pre predictions. I have a great reputation on, on my channel, very loyal su subs. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that sub button. Also, comment down below because today is going to be another entry into the giveaway. If you were here last time for the giveaway entry, I did not forget about you. I still have all of the entries, so don't worry about it. There's going to be a giveaway at 600 sub subs, not at 750, at 600. So if you are new and if you just tuned in, please hit that sub button like I'm saying, and you'll be entered into the giveaway, all right? So at the end of this video, toward the end of the video, I will give you a word to comment down below to be entered into one entry into the giveaway, all right? So every word that you put in is, is one entry, all right? So let's hop right into it, guys. So I'm going to be going alphabetical order, A to Z, Atlanta to Washington. This is part one. Tomorrow's going to be, to be part two. So if I don't um, put in a person that that you believe needs an upgrade or a downgrade. Don't worry. It, it will be in part two for the second half of the teams. These are only teams from A to M. So from Atlanta to the Miami Marlins. Okay, that's it. Next week or next video tomorrow is going to be from the Yankees all the way down to Washington. But let's hop right into it. I think I have about... 11 people. So first up we have here from the Braves is going to be Nick Mar Nick Markakis, guys. He is definitely deserving of an upgrade. A plus one in my opinion, but if he goes to gold, I won't be too surprised. So far this season, he is hitting 324 with 26 doubles, 10 home runs, and 59 RBIs. 41 walks to 43 strikeouts. Really, 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 really good, guys. He also has an 884 OPS, which is good, which 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 puts him into the top 2% in the league in OPS. He is also showing no signs of slowing down, hitting 306 in the month of July. Also versus left-handed pitchers, he is hitting 339 with 537 slugging in 121 at-bats. So we should see a boost in, in contact and power versus lefties also possibly in some vision and discipline as well. So I I won't be surprised, like I said, if he goes up to a gold, but I think a plus one. Moving right along, the last person for the Braves is going to be Ozzy Albies here. Now, I know he already has a player of, of the month card, but there's no reason why he shouldn't be a gold. His attributes, especially against righties, don't reflect how well he is doing in real life guys so far this season he is hitting 285 with 29 doubles three triples 18 home runs and 50 rbis he is also slugging 514 in the last seven days he has been on fire he is hitting 444 in 27 at bats and in the month of july he is batting 375 all right so he's doing really 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 good of late but like I said earlier, he has been hitting righties extremely well. His contact is at 56. His power is at 55. And versus righties, he is hitting 276 with 505 slugging and 279 at-bats. So that 505 slugging should push his power up to about 65. His, um, two, his um, average being at 2... Uh, 2... 276 against righty should put his contact in the 60s, pushing him to gold easily, guys. So that's just my opinion, but moving right along to the Baltimore Orioles there, guys. Baltimore Orioles. So sorry for my little, um, sorry for the um, problem with my speech. I do have a speech impediment if you are new to my channel. If you are a loyal subscriber, you already know I do, but it's all right. Just have to. Tell people that are new. But anyway, moving right along, we have one for the Orioles, and it's going to be Adam Jones. He is definitely deserving to go gold, but maybe not this Friday, though. And here is why. This season, he has been great, though. 281 average with 21 doubles, 10 home runs, and 33 RBIs, and 359 at-bats. And where his attributes are lacking is against lefties, only being at 58 contact and 54 power 
is actually hitting these lefties really, really well this season. He's actually hitting them really good, guys. 300 average and 100 at bats. But he is, but where I am concerned is in the month of July, he is only hitting 229 in, in 35 at bats. So I think SDS will take that into consideration. But if he goes to gold, I won't be shocked though. But I don't think he will because of the month of July, he is hitting 229. So I think they are going to wait him out just one more update and then maybe go from there. So moving right along to the next team is going to be the Boston Red Sox, guys. The Boston Red Sox. This team is 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 uh, the best team in the league, in my opinion. But it's going to be a card that nobody is really, really talking about. It's going to be Matt Barnes. Where are you, Matt Barnes? Second page? Apparently, second page, huh? Matt Barnes, he's way down here. Where is he? Okay, right here. Matt Barnes, he's going for absolutely nothing right now. Um, he is definitely deserving of an upgrade. I would say plus two, possibly to a silver. He has he has been well, well deserving of the upgrade all season. So far this season, he has pitched 39 and two. 29, or sorry, he has pitched 39 and two thirds, and he's pitched 21 hits, one home run, and 19 walks to 57 strikeouts, a 1.80 ERA, and a .87 whip for the year. We should see a huge boost in home runs per nine and a slight increase in hits per nine, okay? So that should push him up to a 75. Um, if you guys want to invest in this card, you guys can make probably 70 stubs per card, but it's nothing really, really crazy. So next team here is going to be the Cincinnati Reds. Um, I probably passed them up. Yes, I did. All right, so the Reds, we have one, and, and it's a card a lot of people are going to be talking about. Yes, a lot of people. You, Eudino Suarez. I think that's how you say it, but should go up plus one or plus two, but not higher than an 83, though. So I definitely wouldn't in, invest, especially since he's going for 3K. Don't invest whatsoever, guys. Um, so far this season, he is hitting 316 with 14 doubles, 19 home runs, and 69 RBIs with a 582 slugging, which is really, 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 really good, guys, in 282 at-bats. Also, in his last seven days, he has been on fire, guys. 435 average in 23 at-bats. And in the month of July, he is hitting 382 in 34 at-bats. He is also crushing the ball against righties and lefties both. Versus righties, he is hitting 299 with 564 slugging. And versus lefties, he has been crazy good, guys. 359 average with 628 slugging. So we should see a slight increase across the board in all hitting attributes, putting him to an 83, I would say, but an 82 maybe, but nothing higher than an 83. So moving right along. From the National League all the way to the American League again, back and forth, back and forth. Alphabetical order is going to be the Detroit Tigers. We have a couple more people left. We probably have about five more people left, so stick right into it. Okay, so after this person right here, right? After this next person is going to be the word I'm going to tell you to put down in the comments below to be entered into the giveaway. All right, so stay tuned. So this person is going to be Nicholas Kess. I can't even say his last name, but there he is, guys. Now, this card has a chance to go gold on Friday. Yes, he's only two points away. But I believe he will only get a plus one. But I won't be shocked again if he does. He has been a low and bright spot for, for the Tigers all season. Hitting 306 with 28 doubles, 15 home runs, and 56 RBIs with 523 slugging. Really, really good numbers and 363 at-bats. But where he has been just killing it has, ha, has been against lefties, guys. Listen to these numbers, okay? 420 average, 705 slugging, and 88 at bat. So I believe we should see a slight increase in both power and contact versus lefties, pushing him to a 79 overall. But 80, I won't be surprised. All right, so staying in the American League is going to be the uh, see, Houston Astros. I think we have two for us. Let me look at, at my notes real fast. We do. We have four people left, but there's two for, for the Astros. First up is going to be, where are you? Where are you? Um, it's not, let me see here. Hmm. There you are. Yuli Gurriel, guys. Yuli Gurriel is deserving to go gold on Friday. He's only two points away as well. As his contact attributes versus lefties is way too low, guys. 61 overall is way too low compared to what he's doing in real life. It does, it does not... No, there's no reason why that should be that low. 
So far this season, he is sitting in 305 with 22 doubles, 6 home runs, and 46 RBIs, and 295 at-bats. Also, in his last 7 days, he has been hotter than anybody. 450, er, yeah, 455 average and 22 at-bats. But versus left-handed pitchers, he is hitting 323 and 93 at-bats. He is showing no signs of slowing down either. And in the month of July, he's batting 367 and 30 at-bats. So with him hitting 323 and 93 at-bats against lefties, and that contact being at 61, there is absolutely no reason why this card should not go gold. I think that that contact should go into the mid-70s, maybe high 70s, push him to an 80 overall. So this card... You can possibly make about 400 stubs because I don't think it will go for more than 1K once it reaches gold. So 400 stubs, if you get like 10 of them, that's 4K stubs. So keep that in mind, guys. All right. Moving right along, the next person and last for the Actros is going to be Alex Bregman. This card is going for a crap ton for being a gold. But let's talk about it. Okay. Should get a plus two, all right, to an 84, all right, but not to a diamond just yet with his OPS being at 915, ranking him in the top 1% in the league, there's no question he deserves an upgrade. But I just don't think a plus three to a diamond is there just yet. Maybe in the near future, though. So far this season, he is hitting 282 with 29 doubles, 19 home runs, and 59 RBIs. He has 53 walks to 53 strikeouts. That is just crazy good. 531 slugging in his last seven days. He has been on fire. 321 average with three home runs and 28 at bats. But where we should see an increase is, is in his contact and power versus lefties. All right. Contact and power versus lefties. He is hitting 321 and also slugging 632 and 106 at bats versus lefties. That should be increased. Pretty good, guys. Also, a slight increase in vision and discipline. I really don't think he will go plus three to diamond. If, I, if I'm if i wrong, it's not like you guys are going to lose out on a lot of stubs. But I would not get rid of this card regardless, though. All right. Moving right along. We have two. Let me see. We have one, two people left, right? We have the Royals and then the Angels. All right. So, the word. I'm sorry. I forgot about the word. But the word for the giveaway, all right, is just... Comment down below your favorite MLB team. It can be any team. It can be the Astros, the Giants, the Dodgers, the Angels, anybody. Any team, comment down below, and that'll be one more entry. I still have all your previous entries, so don't worry. Also, next week, if I don't reach 600 subs after this video, next week will be a, one more entry added. So keep that in mind. Just enter your favorite team down below in the comments. I will say, I will... I will confirm I will confirm the entry once it is in the comments and then it will be in there. Alright, so moving right along, we have is going to be the Royals. Where are you at? Royals, Royals, Royals. Who it is hot in my house. Alright, Royals is gonna be Whit Merrifield, guys. This one is a maybe, but he deserves oh no, sorry, 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 sorry about this. This one is a maybe, but he does have a good chance to go plus one and reach that goal tier on Friday. Maybe, guys. He has been seeing left-handed pitchers really well this season and hitting for power against them as well. But this season so far, he is hitting 306 with 29 doubles, five home runs, and 29 RBIs in 340 at-bats. In his last seven days, he has been hotter than anyone in baseball, guys. Crazy, crazy numbers right here. 542 average in 24 at bats but versus lefties like i said versus lefties he is hitting 389 and 600 or sorry 389 602 slugging in 113 at bats so there's no reason why his attributes versus lefties should be where they're at there should be higher contact higher power pushing him to that goal tier all right and last up is the most this card this card right here this card will make you a lot oh it's already up to 6k when i started to when i Hmm, I would say about an hour ago, this card, and Jolinton Simmons was for about 4K. So, man, maybe you can get it for cheaper tonight, but if, but if you can grab this card for under 5K, easily get like 12 of them, 20 of them, if you can. He will go for at least 15K, 20K as soon as he gets diamond. But here, ladies and gentlemen, is our next diamond. I do believe when he goes diamond, like I said, he will be a pretty penny. All right, so far this season, he is hitting 312 
with 17 double six homer and the 41 RBIs with 27 walks and 15 strikeouts. He's only struck out 15 times in 301 at bats. There's no reason why his discipline should be anything lower than an 85. So easily, easily that right there should just push him up to a freaking like an 85, 86 overall in my opinion. But what we should see a huge boost is in contact versus lefties because he is sitting 305 and 82 at bats. So. This card will go for a pretty penny, guys, because look at that defense. This game relies heavily on defense. There's so many errors by stupid player animations where you can't control. But, man, if you have a good middle infielder like this guy, with look at that Philly, 92, 95, 80, 89, 86. Crazy, crazy good. But anyways, guys, please make sure to comment down below your favorite team to be entered into the giveaway. And this is your boy, Cannonman. I'll see you guys in the next week. Peace out. Peace.